Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifty, and sparkly eyeshadows. But today I'm actually going to be talking about a more mainstream brand, though technically still independently owned, and that is Patrick Ta. This is my first palette and second product that I'm trying from the brand. They have a palette they released previously. I was just not really that into it. It was neutrals, just like this palette is also neutrals, but I much prefer these tones. And the first palette had a sequin shade, which basically is a matte eyeshadow with just some sparkles in it. So I wasn't really about it but this one just looked like it was full of some beautiful shimmers and really just a nice light to dark mattes as well as creams and I've heard amazing things about the creams in here so I really wanted to try them out so I'm gonna be talking about this palette oh no that just came off um, so you can see there's a little cover on top of the cream part so this is the major dimension 2 palette by Patrick Ta and I mean just you can see the shimmers look so so stunning and you know I like to deepen out my outer corner so I really wanted to try out this formula the package is super super nice really sleek really like hefty kind of plastic however this cover <laughs> is already so dirty and so is the inside just from like basic usage I will be creating three looks for this palette and then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video priming my lid with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer going straight in for the creams because I'm so so curious I'm just gonna put that basically out here on an angle with a synthetic brush and then I'm going in with this blend bunny brush and I'm just going to blend the edges wow okay <laughs> I was I was so curious to see how this will apply and wow wow I hate that I have to flip the palette over so I'm just going to be showing you the shades. I'm going in to the crease with this shade right here. Okay, pigmentation. Okay. And then above that, I'm going to take the very first matte shade. Super, super light and peachy. Are they peachy? I feel like came on a little peachy. Go back in with the other shade. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to go in with the deepest shade. And I'm going to layer that over the cream. I'm so, so curious. I think if I was to wear cream like this, I would have to set it with eyeshadow. That's definitely giving me lots of depth. Going in with the second to lightest shade and just bringing this under my lower lash line as well as blending out the edges of that. So this is going to be a pretty glam look, obviously. Is there ever a look that is not glam that I do? I'm just getting rid of some of the fallout. Thankfully, it's not a lot, but something was falling down. Love the way that looks. I'm just going to go in with this light setting powder, and I'm going to use that right above because there isn't anything this light. And I just like to use this on the edges. For the metallic, I think I'm just going to use my finger. I really want to use this duochrome here, so that's what I'm going to use. So that's what I'm going to go in with. It looks like it's, oh yeah, it's like a topper. I'm definitely going to try the NYX Glitter Primer on the other eye. I'm just really curious to see how this looks on top of the glitter primer. I think most people who are buying this palette probably won't be using it. Wow. That's so wet looking and so beautiful. <gasps> It's just so glisteny. Oh, that's so pretty. Going in with this shade on the inner corner. It's probably a little too dark for that, but definitely feel some fallout. I did spray my brush. That's so pretty. I'm kind of covering my dark under eye circle a little bit there. And then I'm taking the darkest matte under my lower lash line. Love, love how this came out. In the waterline, I have the gel liner from LA Girl in gold metal. And the lashes are Ioni Natural Doll Light. And here's the first finished look. Priming again with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer. Going in with the darkest brown on the inner lid. The outer lid. Just wanted to see how it looks without the cream base and then taking this second to lightest shade 
And I'm slowly going to bring it onto the edge of that. And then out here as well. Taking the deep brown under my lower lash line. I'm going back in with the second to light shade. This is blending so nicely and I'm getting quite a bit of pigmentation, which I'm super happy about. And again, just going in with a clean brush with some powder on it, just some light powder. And just taking it into the edges. Time for the NYX Glitter Primer, which is here in this sad, sad jar. <laughs> Since the tip broke off from it and I'm just going to take that right all the way center of my lid into my crease. Going in with the shimmer and this is the flat definer brush from Sonia G. I'm just popping that right in the center. These metallics, while they are neutral, they're giving me that shine that I look for, that I prefer and that is so pretty. I absolutely love that. And then I'm going to go in with the gold. And I'm just going to see if I can layer it a little bit on the center. The like center center. And I'm going to take it above my hood here. And just really like fluff it out so you just have like a sheen of sparkle. It just looks so wet. I love it. Finishing off the lash line with the second to light shade under the rest of my lower lash line. And I'm actually going to use the lightest shade in the inner corner as a little pop just like that. In the waterline I put the gel liner in Get Lucid from Colourpop and my lashes are Ioni Natural Doll Light. And here's the second finished look. On to the third and final look. I'm priming with the Give Me Glow primer. I dipped into the darkest cream and I'm going to create an eyeshadow wing. This is so pigmented. Wow. So I think I'm just running it all the way across my lid close to my lash line dipping in just with a little bit more to take it under my lower lash line and making sure that wing is connected I really exaggerated it on the other side so I'm just going to try to match it basically you can see it's already creasing over here but it's fine because we're going to be putting eyeshadow over it anyway I think this is pretty close and I'm just gonna, you can always just clean it up with either a brush or just my nail. I'm picking up this shade right here and it's going to go all over where I did the liner, the wing. So I'm essentially basically using it as a like base but also setting it with the metallic and I do have quite a bit of fallout um, with the shade. Wow, okay. <laughs> and just taking it here, and I am going to take it under my lower lash line as well. And then I can just kind of perfect it here with the shimmer. Hopefully this just comes off easily. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. I already had set my base, so. Next I'm taking this shade right here and putting it right into my crease. And I did pick up only only a little bit, so I could really mostly get like a wash of it first and then go in and slowly build it up. So I'm just going in and building up a little bit more just where I want it to, but not all the way up, keeping that blend there. And then I'm taking the lightest matte shade and going over that, over the edges of that with that shade. Taking the Fairy Pixie Epoxy. And I'm going to create a half cut crease situation. And I'm taking this Lunar Beauty, what is it, LBE7 brush. And I'm just going to use it to swipe 
it down. I'm going in with this shade and that's going to go basically right above the wing and just a little bit into my crease but just a little bit. I want to leave some space and just putting over here. This is a beautiful super dimensional shade. It is basically like a duochrome. Taking the goldish shade and taking that above right against the line. Definitely feeling fallout on my face. So good thing at least I have some sort of primer down. Just making sure that's even. I put on these So Real Lashes from Kiss. And in the waterline, I have the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. And here's a third finished look. So usually when I'm trying out more neutral palettes, I like to really do some more dramatic looks, if you will, just to really test it out and see how much depth I can get out of a palette. Obviously, you're going to get very similar types of look with this palette. It is very one-toned. However, these mattes are very buildable but also very pigmented, so you could go in and swirl your brush a, a bit more and really get, get lots of pigment payoff, but you could also go in and just dip in lightly and get a nice wash of color, which I really love mattes that are like that. And I also think that makes them more user friendly as well as makeup artist friendly so overall I really really enjoy the mattes the shimmers are so so beautiful really really shiny and metallic and especially a lovely dimensional dual chrome almost multi chrome shade that's right here really really stunning these shimmers gave me everything that I look for in a shimmer I would say out of all the shimmers the darkest metallic is really uh, the least shiny but it doesn't matter because you can really create a little bit more depth and you can layer it over the darker mattes as for the creams I've only tried the dark cream and I love the idea of layering some of these other shades over it to get even more depth. I did experience creasing with the other two looks that I did with the palette, even with the look where I didn't use the cream. So it seems like these uh, mattes are super, super creamy already, or like not creamy, but like buttery, that I think um, if you have hooded oily lids, you might experience some creasing issues. I would probably not rely on this palette and especially the creams if I was trying to get a, like 12 hours of wear or even eight hours probably more like half a day's wear but i think the creasing happened pretty quickly so i would have to use a different eyeshadow primer and set it to really make sure that i try to avoid any sort of creasing so for the most part i will most likely be using the creams in areas where there is no mobile lid and so basically just like on the direct lid here or a wing like this would so definitely keep that in mind if you have creasing issues then i think you might not get the most out of this palette that being said i don't regret getting the palette necessarily it's really just going to be working around that which is a little unfortunate but honestly like I've been saying in my previous videos pretty much everything creases on me at this point no matter what I do so it's really just not a big deal I just learn to work around it which you know I wish I could use the creams a little bit more freely but unfortunately thanks to my hooded eyes and my oily lids it's just not going to happen but regardless i can still have lots of fun with this palette and the shimmers like i mentioned are so so beautiful so those are all my thoughts on this palette let me know in the comments below if you picked this up did you pick it up during the sale because i did because it is a bit on the expensive side but that's everything for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribe there's so much makeup content lots and lots of tutorials uploading my channel and much more to come you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time Thank you.